Already the Senate has passed seven resolutions to undo harmful regulations that hold our country back. Using the tools provided under the Congressional Review Act, we've taken action to stop Obama-era rules that have threatened jobs, our economy, and even the success of our students. Today, we'll have another opportunity to block a regulation, one that undermines congressional intent and states' rights. The proposal before us now would end the Obama administration's unemployment drug testing rule and return power to the states so that they can best address this issue at the local level. Congress granted the Labor Department authority to design a rule regarding states' ability to drug test citizens applying for unemployment insurance. However, as we saw all too often, the Obama administration went beyond its legal authority in creating a regulation that severely limits the role of state and local governments. That's why we heard from several governors, <clears throat> including those from Mississippi, Wisconsin, Utah, and Texas, who called for Congress to overturn this regulation. As they said in a recent letter, the Department of Labor should go back to the drawing board and put forth a new rule that allows increased flexibility for states to implement unemployment insurance drug testing that best fits the needs of each state. With a new, smarter rule, these governors believe their states will be better able to implement drug testing for those seeking unemployment insurance and help individuals suffering from substance abuse to access necessary care and treatment so that they may re-enter the workforce as healthy and productive members of our society. <clears throat> I want to thank Senator Cruz for his leadership in sponsoring the Senate companion to the bill we'll vote on today, as well as Senator Cornyn and Senator Hatch, the Finance Committee Chairman, for working to advance this resolution. We should pass it now so that we can restore this power back to the states where it belongs.